part of it is that a universe from nothing makes no sense. It has to be something beyond the universe. So we give that understanding like as, as God. Yeah. Because the other plausibility is a universe from nothing or a universe that creates itself yeah. makes no sense. So then one, when one asks the question, who creates God? Well, in that case, we'll go on forever. And if we go on forever, and it's called in infinite regress, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we'd never, we'd never then come into the present. No, there must be something. There must be something. Created who's created right. it and it's beyond, and it's beyond the universe. We ain't going to never know. Scientists are looking into it, but it's yeah. going to take years and years, I think. I think what it is, Find when out. you look at the, the philosophical yeah. plausibilities, then yeah. we can discount what we've already mentioned. A universe from nothing, which yeah. is too incomprehensible, because nothing by very definition means... Well, nothing makes nothing, does it? So precisely. Happens, the the absence of coming. absolutely everything. Yeah. But the fact that we are here suggests yeah. that there must be something out of the universe. Yeah. So when the universe, as science tells us, came into existence some 13.8 billion years ago, what initiated it? Did it just come out of nothing? There must have been something out, so it's commonly referred to as it being that like we're all contingent upon something else, but yeah. there has to be something outside that contingent set of things yeah. that has created us. So for example, why are we here in the way that we are here? Why am I male? Why are you ladies female? There's and why reason. aren't we born? It's a reason. So that, that fact that we're we're in that contingent set of things yeah. that we are there has to be something out of that set yeah. which has inclined us to you see what i mean it's yeah, a bit of a mouthful people, some but people believe it's like we go through different realms like in one lifetime we might be an animal yes. in another lifetime we might be something else yeah they say that you go to an animal like you could be a cat or you can be a dog or you can come back to the... yeah that's, that's the essence of reincarnation that's but fine. but like as muslims and christians and jews we don't believe in that what no. we believe we've got one life god's created us we, we, well, yeah, we can enjoy it for sure, yeah. but we also have to it's have about a... It's making good choices, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. But that, so we believe that choice is defined by a creator. That he makes, he defines what is good and what is bad, what is yeah. acceptable and what is unacceptable. And that makes sense. So the analogy I like to give, if there is a creator and he's created all of us, he's not going to simply create us for no purpose. So for example, we've got the first mobile phone ever made. If I was to hand that to you, right. and I was to say to you, without anyone ever seeing it before, you can speak to one person from one end of the world to the other, you're going to think, wow, excellent. So yeah. if I hand it to you, what's the first thing that you would ask with it? Yeah. A manual. Did you a ever watch Star Trek? I used to when I was a kid, right. yeah. So Beam Me Up Scotty. Beam Me Up Scotty, yeah. Reality. So how do we not know that in the future, what we see on the telly yes. is going to come reality? Yes, I mean... We've got the mobile phone. Yes. They're going up to space. If you yep. watch Cocoon as well, it's another good film where they go into space. We yes. We don't know. We don't yep. know. Or even a better one, which I found even more interesting as a child, yeah. was watching the Inspector yeah, Gadget yeah, cartoons, yeah. where yeah. you see, you'd see this arm typing on a computer, which yeah. we were late, later to know would be a laptop. Yeah. You'd think, what's he typing on? And that was, in definition, it's like a, a laptop. But the point I'm making to you ladies is essentially that we only live on this earth once, we're going to be accountable for our actions. Yeah. By all means, enjoy it. But at the same time, our creator is, is waiting for us. That's right. And that we're going to be accountable for our actions. Exactly. Yeah. But that should make one contemplate these matters considerably. Because yeah. we're not, neither, neither of ourselves were here 100 years ago, no. and very unlikely we'll be here in another 100 no. years. That's What's right. in the inter These are people who consider these things deeply because that is our reality, right. death, unfortunately so. Maybe yeah. a bit morbid on a Sunday afternoon, but how? But hey, this is what it's all about. Yeah, once you come into the earth, the only certain thing is you're going to leave it at some Precisely. Point. Yeah. So it makes sense that if we came onto this earth miraculously, we will, be, we will be resurrected and then accounted for our actions. So once we understand the concept of who our Creator is, so in the Islamic belief, as we, as we have as Muslims, is that there is nothing like God. Totally beyond His creation, so He's not a man, He's not a woman, He's not an idol, He's not a statue, nothing like His creation. So whatever created that, or that, how that Big Bang went forth, it must have been beyond the universe. Unlike the universe, more powerful than the universe. Because again, Something just coming into existence out of nothing, it's just too implausible. There has to be something. And that's well, it's something. Like chicken and the egg, isn't it? What comes first? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's another thing, isn't it? Yeah, but I think we can all confidently dismiss nothing from the very definition. And nothing is the absence of absolutely mm -hmm. everything and anything. So nothing comes, nothing gives rise to nothing. There is no even, you know, it's just incomprehensible. But at the same time, whatever caused the universe, it makes sense, it had to have a trigger to it. It's like the domino effect had to start some point. So that, that is what we call a creator. And now, that's the big question, isn't That's it? the big question. Yeah, yeah. they used yes. to say Earth was, um, it, it's rounded, isn't it? They used to say it was a different shape, but now they've realised it moves around. The actual that's right. Earth. 
That's correct, yes, in a spherical manner, that's yeah. right, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, what, listen and watch. I like UFO programs, I love all that. And yeah. I love Star Trek because, like my partner says, you know, bring me up Scotty. He <laughs> said, you wouldn't have brought mobile phones, you're going to come. So, how do I come? Yep. 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 It's the same as all of that, all our technology, isn't it? Like microwaves yep. and, you know, right. we don't know. radiation and that sort of stuff. Like, where does that come from? Mm. Oh, no. but it all comes like energy, for example. Like, we yeah. believe that as human beings, like, as I speak to you ladies, if I put my hand out towards you yeah. what have we got in between we've got time matter space energy yeah. but that all came as a result of the big bang so what that metaphysical realm was because it's incomprehensible for us that would then be beyond our comprehension but yeah. we do know by sheer logic that it had to come into existence and scientists are looking into it aren't they you know the UFOs people say well, they've seen them I think that's one step too far maybe I think yeah. <laughs> that is yeah I don't know, I don't know. I think there's life there, definitely. Oh yeah, beyond something beyond, yeah, beyond. It makes no sense if this yeah. universe is so in humongous that we're the only, f that's a bit scary See, to I think. I think there's other planets up there but we've not found With life, yep. 100%, yep. definitely. Yep. I, definitely. I believe in that. Yep. Definitely. Even all the planets, recent like scientific research has shown that Mars has got like ice caps to it, so yeah. there must have been water. Yeah. The, Quran, the Quran states every living thing is made of water. And everything has to drink water. Every single item in this earth. Yes, even, the even down to an atom, atom. has to have water. Precise, even an atom. Yeah. Even an electron, the most infinitesimally yeah, yeah. small yeah. things which you can't even see. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've got walk around with the birds, I've got wood pigeons. Cause yeah. I've got um, babies, so mm. obviously I'm not going to say, no, no, watch the cats. And I'm yeah. not that type. I no, like no. to feed animals and look after animals because yeah. they're here for a purpose. Of course, yes. And I give them water. And you can see them coming down drinking the water. But yeah. it's not, you know, Can I offer you ladies a free copy of the Quran in English, our like book, or were you happy with just with those? I read this. this. Okay. Brilliant. Perhaps I can give you one as well in that case. Oh, you've read it. Sorry, I beg your pardon. You have. Oh, ladies, have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much. God bless you. Take care.